What's up guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to the new video, Gadgets DPS. Let's go. Alright, so here we are with Gadgets mid-range AOE loadout. This is gonna be my best loadout. So we're gonna focus on might. My might is 187,760. And I'm maxed out right now, 300 CR, 396 CR. And let's look at the gear mods. So I am using rifle and the blast adapter 5 weapon for rifle. Supercharged new and boost 3 for head socket. You can also use supercharged exfiation gas or supercharged word of power. Escalating might 5 for neck, berserker for back, penetrating strikes for chest, restorative fear gas for legs, maximum damage or improved stealth for hands, but I prefer improved stealth. Tumbling master for feet, you can also use deadly block or explosive block depending on your movement mode. Now Looking at the augments, we're gonna use Might Augments, Mighty Warded, the maximum you can you know access, and Mighty Implants, Adaptive Augments and Origin Augments basically. So since we are Might based, make sure they are all Might based augments. And then we are gonna look at the artifacts. So we are gonna use three main artifacts as always. Transformation card, Strategist card, and Quizlet. Uh, you guys know I try to make my loadouts around these three artifacts because to be honest, these three work with any power set. So we're gonna focus on these three. Transformation card will give you 20% critical chance and 30% critical magnitude on your attacks. It will also give you 3% might, 3% power, health, restoration, and precision. So make sure you get that. And then Strategist card will give you a damage over time whenever you will use a superpower. For 8 seconds it will apply a damage over time. It will also give you 4% might, dominance, restoration, precision and vitalization. And if you have it at rank 200, it will double the proc chance of tactical advantage which is your damage over time for 8 seconds and also increase the potency of tactical advantage by 30%. So make sure you have this and transformation card at rank 200, they work awesome together. Number third is Quizlet, Quizlet is your pet, it's AOE damage. So whenever you will use a superpower, it will cast a powerful attack that will hit up to eight enemies within with a five second cooldown. So every five seconds, uh, since this is a you know my best loadout, you are continuously popping your powers, popping your superpowers. So every eight seconds, it will do a powerful attack. Second thing is whenever you will use a supercharge, Quizlet will release a powerful attack. So 5,000 supercharge cost will deal medium damage and using a 10,000 cost supercharge will deal a high damage. But nobody uses 10,000 supercharge, so we're just gonna be sticking with 5,000 supercharge. So it will do a medium damage up to, you know, hitting up to seven additional targets. So, and it gives you, um, one second, let's scroll down. It gives you 4% might at rank 200 basically. So 4% might, I think 5% health and 4%, 3% precision. So, and also if it's at rank 200, it will grant the player 1% supercharge every time you use, you know, Mega Blast. So it's a very, very good artifact. And compared to Grim, Grimorium is single target, Quizlet is AOE and Quizlet does more damage than Grimorium. So make sure you have this, but then again, you can also use EOG, Eye of Gemini, and Lernia's Amulet. Where is it? Where is this? There we go. So Lernia's Amulet. These two are also very, very helpful with, um, you know, gadgets. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, whenever you're about to pop a supercharge, you're gonna pop Eye of Gemini. So you click on that. It will replace Strategist card. And whenever you will pop a supercharge, it will pop an orange circle underneath your feet. And whoever is standing inside that circle, you will get 20% damage of that person and all it will be reapplied to the enemies it will also restore two percent power every second and also whenever you're standing in any polyxis case if you have eog active if you're standing in any orange circle it will grant you five percent might precision and vitalization and you can also use learner's amulet it will basically you know increase your might just you know i'm keeping it simple so if you have it at ranks 200 it will grant you three percent might per stack and it goes up to 10 stacks so for like six seconds so for six seconds, you have like, you know, 30% uh, might bonus. But whenever you have equipped Lernia's Amulet and you're using a superpower, you will get, you know, damage out of it. You, you will get hurt. So make sure you have a healer running with you. And if you don't have a healer, you can also run finisher. So whenever you will use a finisher, you will heal yourself 100% of the damage you dealt. And so it's a tricky artifact, make sure you know you use it carefully i don't really use it because even with quizlet the gadget is op now let's look at the allies 
So for the combat AI, I'm using Batman right now. Uh, you can also use Zoom or you know Aquaman or whatever you want to. But yeah, Batman is not that bad. This is very very important. Batman who laughs. Batman who laughs will basically draw a random card and uh, every 20 seconds. So it can be Batman card, uh, Enigma card, Trigger card, or Gaia card. So if if you pop Batman card, it will give you 5% might dominance and restoration, 2% 2.5% precision. If you pop Enigma card plus 35 power, if you pop Trigger card, 7.5% critical chance, and if you pop Gaia card, 10% health. So it depends on your luck. But if you pop you know Batman card or uh, Trigger card the damage increases massively and number two i'm using cyborg still leveling it up for some reason but yeah use cyborg because this loadout is very power hungry uh, so you need as much power as possible make sure your gear mods are uh sorry make sure your augments are maxed up you make sure your artifacts are maxed out make sure you have good amount of gear good amount of skill points and also make sure you have base mods might and power so this is it now let's go and take a look at the skill points allocation so as i said before i'm using rifle as a weapon so one point in rifle under super speed flight acrobat uh just get the first one if you have extra skill points get these five this will give you some extra power so that's good uh speed drain is not necessary but if you are gonna be using eog uh you should get that so this is optional under iconic powers robot sidekick is optional Word of Power and New Venom Boost are also optional, but I like to use them. So I'm gonna show you how to use them and what not to use and what to use. So in the stat points, this is the setup. We're gonna be using Super Powered, so it's gonna give you 10% might, 10% power, 25% power regeneration. So make sure you get this. Then Critical Attack Chance and then Critical Attack Damage. Put everything here and then put everything in Might and Power. So, you know, the more Might you have, the more damage you're gonna do and then if you have extra skill points i like to put everything in precision because i like to clip my weapon grenade so the more precision i have the more damage i will do uh, in the end uh, just clipping my weapon grenade with the superpowers but if you are afraid of you know uh, dying too much uh, you can go and put everything in health so this is the skill point allocation now let's go and take a look at the loadout all right so here's the loadout i tried to kept it simple and it is very simple it is very easy to do you don't have to worry about too much jump cancelling and stuff like that and still it does great damage so here we are first one is napalm grenade napalm grenade is your damage over time on only 100 power cost and it burns the enemy so we're gonna pop that then we're gonna pop fear gas so burns enemies and when used against electrified enemies electrified enemies take additional damage and burning enemies take additional damage as well this is also your damage over time Number three is Vortex, Days enemies take additional damage. It's a burst damage power, so power cost is 300. Number four is Paralyzing Dart. Paralyzing Dart, if the enemy is dazed, electrified, frostbitten, or burning, it will take additional damage. Paralyzing Dart will do burst damage as well. Number five is Stealth, we're gonna look at it in a second. And number six is Suppressor Turret. So Suppressor Turret is your pet, basically. It will do additional damage if the enemies are electrified or burning and flamethrower will do additional damage if the enemies are dazed or frostbitten so we are focusing on this one right now burning electrified mostly and also enemies are going to be dazed because of stealth enemies are going to be burned because of napalm grenade so this is it so now what you're going to do is you're going to pop four and fifth together so clip four and fifth and we're going to go into stealth so this is the stealth loadout and now i told you i'm using new item boost and word of power if you don't want to use it you don't have to you can use the gadgets you know supercharge as gas and uh number we're gonna use emp pulse this is the only power you need to be honest in this loadout as a stealth and then do not forget to put suppressor turret in here because um if you don't have suppressor turret it will be destroyed every time you go into stealth and you need you will have to you know pop it again and again and again so make sure you have it so it doesn't get destroyed so put the pressure turret this is optional you don't have to use it this is optional this is optional so but let me just go through it quickly new item boost will grant you extra damage output from your superpowers so if you pop this 5000 supercharge cost you will do extra damage uh, damage is increased by around 40 percent number two is as gas as gas is basically your uh, damage over time uh, same thing 5000 supercharged cost but cooldown is 30 seconds and does you know heavy damage over time number three is word of power word of power will increase your critical uh, damage and critical critical chance 
So I think around 10% critical chance and 8% critical damage. So Rick recently upgraded as well. So supercharged cost is 5,000, but cooldown is only 12 seconds. So if you're running with EOG healers, you know, there are two healer, EOG healers uh, running greens and you are getting a supercharge charge really fast. You don't need anything else. You can just pop word of power again and again, but in, you know, different situations require different supercharges so you can actually run three supercharges under stealth but it's optional so if you do not like iconic powers you can only run exfiction gas it will do great damage as well so emp pulse is burst damage but it's close range so make sure you're close to your enemies and under stealth it does additional damage as well and dazed electrified frostbite and burning enemies will take additional damage so the rotation is gonna be something like this you're gonna start with four and five clip them four five and then just pop four Barrel display is optional. It's pretty quick getting out of, you know, stealth with EMP pulse. But if you wanna, you can also get barrel display. Barrel display is your weapon buff. It will boost your weapon attacks from your, you know, rifle grenade or whatever weapon you're using. So you can do that, but just pop, you know, four and you're good to go. So four, five, four, five, and then you go and start with the rotation. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And by this time, this will be out of cooldown. So four, five again, and then boom, that's it. Very simple loadout, simple clipping, no jump canceling, anything like that. Uh, so we're gonna go and see the numbers on the spine target. So there you have it we started with 222k to basically 2.2 mil then we went up to 2.5 mil then we went up to 2.7 mil then 2.2 mil and then 2.6 mil again so it's great damage for aoe i'm telling you that you just have to be you know a little jumpy to move around make sure you are hitting every enemy with your emp and you know uh, stealth make sure they're getting dazed make sure they're getting power interactions buff yourself up and you're good to go and this is without buffing this is like total unbuffed uh, numbers and also there are so many factors which matters to be honest you know when strat is kicking in whenever you know you're getting the bright batman card or not figure card or not and it, a lot of stuff matters but still this is the base numbers and you get the idea it goes up to 271 273 i have hit up to 285k as well but the other numbers just went down dude so this is it so let's go and check out single target All right, so here we are with a single target loadout. So for single target loadout, everything is same. We are still running same artifacts, same augments, same gear mods, same gear and everything. You can see my might is still the same, but for allies, I have changed it a little bit. So for allies, we're gonna be using combat ally uh, crypto, or you can also use house of legends bars. They both do great single target damage. Batman who laughs for support ally, 100% recommended. I'm using Batman for third support ally. You can also use Shazam recently launched. Where is he? Wait, is this Shazam? Yeah, there we go. So you can also use Shazam. Shazam will basically uh, grant you, you know, extra might and precision. I'm still leveling it up. I think it goes up to 5% or 8%. So you will get some extra might out of that. But right now I'm using Batman since I'm still leveling up Shazam. So Shaz it, this will basically grant me 9% might and 4.5% precision for the first six damage hits only. So the, you can see the counter when you're attacking the enemies. So for the only first six ticks, it will get, get me 9% might and 4.5% precision. And when the com combo counter will reach 100, it will reset and then I will get it again. So it's not really hard to get that extra, you know, might and uh, precision out of, you know, Batman. So, so these are your two options for the second support ally. Now let's go and quickly look at the skill points allocation. Skill point allocation is actually same. Same into rifle. Web, uh, sorry. Super speed is same. Iconic powers are same. Again, optional and stat points are same let's put these over here i like to keep one you know spare in case i need anything so let's go and quickly take a look at the loadout 
So this is the loadout right now. So number one is Taser Pull. Taser Pull is great to be honest. Only 100 power cost, it electrifies the enemies, there's the enemies take additional damage, frostbite and enemies take additional damage. It's a pull but it won't really work in a DPS role but great damage and you can spam it kind of again and again. Number two is Fear Gas. Again, same thing. Damage over time burns when used against electrified enemies. So enemies are going to be electrified right now from the Taser Pull. Well, the target, which is a single target. So Fear Gas is going to burn them burn the target and electrified enemies will take additional damage burning enemies will take additional damage number three is paralyzing dart same thing as before aoe damage burst damage days electrified force present burning enemies will take additional damage number four is photon blast photon blast is your finisher it's a damage over time but if the target's health is below 35 percent it will do additional damage number five is stealth number six i'm using robot sidekick you can also use suppressor trade to be honest i found better numbers with robot sidekick for single target and better numbers with you know suppressor turret for aoe so you can it's up to you it's, it's, if you want to use uh, suppressor turret for your uh, single target loadout as well it's up to you you can totally do it but yeah i'm using you know robot sidekick so under stealth we are using only one surprise attack that's it so this is gonna be a little bit tricky loadout so make sure you have robot sidekick or suppressor turret in here whatever you're running same as before same three uh, supercharges you can also use speed drain speed drain is 25 and supercharge cost so if you're running eog you can pop you know this one four times instead of running these only two times so it's up to you so here's the rotation rotation is gonna be clip three and five basically same thing as before clip dart with stealth make sure you are close to your target not like super close you can stay mid and close range right in somewhere in between that so you do that you pop surprise attack surprise attack will take you out of the stealth but it does great damage so 250k easy damage base damage kind of base damage but then it goes up to 450 550k sometimes depending on how buffed you are where you are depending on instance and everything like that so, so you're gonna do surprise attack you'll be out of the stealth then you're gonna do taser pull fear gas dart taser pull you know just to be able to cool down fear gas dart so you can do keep doing that but whenever photon blast is out of cooldown you pop that whenever stealth is out of cooldown clip dart with stealth again and go back to surprise attack so this is the loadout does great damage but you will have to kind of move a little bit back and forth but this is what you get when you don't you know do clipping or you know jump cancelling and stuff like that but yeah this is this uh, and you don't run you know solar amplifier uh or you know the you know the meta stuff so but still great damage and you'll see what i mean in a minute so let's go to the sparring target and see the numbers So here we go, it's a quick test for single target. I just didn't want to speed it up so you can see. So 137,000, uh, we started with that 1.3 mil. Then we went up to 1.7 mil and we got 54% crits. So yeah, that's why, but then we went down to 1.3. But yeah, if I keep going, it will go around 140, 150, 130, 140, 150, and then again 170, then 130. So, but you get the idea. So the single target is great, but make sure you are close to the target to hit the target with surprise attack other than that you can be full range so hit that and get back uh, do your you know rotation then go in again hit him hit him with surprise attack and come back but you don't have to be in melee range just close enough to get the target you know uh, affected by surprise attack that's it so great single target damage is probably one of the best in the game and this is basically it trust me it will work but i'm telling you it is power hungry especially for the aoe not so much for the single target so make sure you have everything maxed out buff yourself up use nitro soldiers use compound soldiers get your augments up get your artifacts up make sure you have enough skill points some people say skill point doesn't matter but yeah it does matter to be honest 
I don't care what other people say so but make sure you get everything in order and use everything you can whenever they're out of cooldown you know allies your henchmen your orbitals your pets and if you're gonna be art swapping just you know uh, run with EOG learners emulate you're good to go you can also run scrap you can also run you know uh, what's it called dead king Spe scepter or stuff like that there are a lot of options to be honest but don't make your life difficult enjoy the game and do this so this is basically it uh, if you have any questions just comment down in the comment section below and i will get back to you as soon as i can and i will see you guys next time